Ed here with the Digital Digest, and today I wanted to share a quick unboxing and first look at the Sabrent Thunderbolt 3 Dual NVMe SSD Docking Station. Now, when I first saw this at the beginning of February of this year, I immediately reached out to my Sabrent rep asking when I would be able to get one of these for review. And the reason I was so aggressive is because this, at least on paper, appears to be, in my opinion, the best Thunderbolt dock ever made, because not only does it deliver a modern array of ports, but then we also now have dual NVMe SSDs built in. So this is the four terabyte capacity. It retails for 650 US dollars. I'll include a link in the description. They also have two terabytes at 500, eight terabytes, I believe at 1300, and 16 terabytes at 2900. So pretty much a price point and capacity for every user out there. And again, if you're tired of Thunderbolt docks that are essentially all kind of the same with different branding and slightly different design, this is probably going to be of interest to you. Now, another reason I'm excited is that the only video uh, covering this has been directly from Sabrent. So I believe I'm the first YouTuber to get their hands on this. At any rate, that doesn't really matter. Um, what does is how good this product is. Uh, so they did send this over for review, of course, and I'm just excited to finally uh, be looking at it because God knows I look at so many Thunderbolt docks and they really, you know, don't do that much to differentiate from the rest, but this one does. Uh, also, when anyone uh, looks at this, they're going to say, wow, it's expensive. But keep in mind, uh, if you were to purchase a Thunderbolt dock and then two two terabyte NVMe drives, I think this price is aggressive and over time it's only going to go down most likely. So the first thing we have are instructions uh, for enabling higher performance right caching, all that good stuff, and of course, your instruction, your user manual, and then the dock itself. And by the way, the dock is heavy uh, based on the weight of the box. This is not a joke. This is a serious uh, piece of equipment, Sabrent, usually pretty passionate about build quality, and this is essentially an aluminum brick from what I'm feeling, so uh, no exception here. I believe this has a 150 watt power supply, and that's because it is designed to, of course, charge up the machine it's connected to at the same time, uh, which with that sort of power output is going to accommodate a lot of different machines, but of course, no high performance machines with dedicated, or I should say discrete GPUs. So really ideal for those of you working on mobile workstations, and ultrabooks, things of that nature. So, looks like I got everything out of the box. Let's take a look at what we have here. So first and foremost, our power cable that we're gonna connect to the power brick, fairly standard. We've all seen these before. And then that 150 watt supply because this will deliver, uh, I believe a little under 100 watts to your machine of choice. So you need this, anyone who was hoping this would be uh, a power brickless solution. In other words, it could sip juice off of the machine it connects to. You're dreaming. We're still not at that stage. Um, and the closest devices I've seen to that point are very limited. They're great for what they can do, but they aren't going to give you the sort of capability that this does. So we do get a uh, Thunderbolt cable, of course, Sabrent branded. And let's get to the actual dock. So We've got a gray finish on this, the Sabrent uh, logo, the rocket, which I've always thought was a nice one, considering there are so many bad ones in the biz out there. And really straightforward. I mean, this just looks like what I think anyone would want pro-grade gear to look like. So headphone jack, microphone jack, uh, a SD card reader. It is UHS-2, so we know where speeds will top out. And then we have a USB 3.2 Gen 1, that's uh, five gigabit. And then we have, of course, a USB 3.2 Gen 2, which is 10. So, you know, there are your speed differences in the two drives and, you know, what you're gonna be using them for ideally. Uh, as we go to the, and we also have an activity light right there, I believe that's what that is for the NVMe drives. As we go to the back, that's where the rest of the action is. And you can see we have our a power pin connector for the DC adapter. We have an ethernet, which is a one gig uh, ethernet port, gigabit, I should say. Uh, display port 1.4, so that's capable of doing up to 8K at 30 hertz, but in a 
I would say more realistic world, you're going to be using this for 4K 60 or 4K 120, which it is completely capable of. Then we have another, actually two more uh, USB uh, type A ports. We have, again, pretty much a similar combination of bandwidth, a 3.2 Gen 2, a 3.2 Gen 1. And then we have our two Thunderbolt ports. Now, this one is what you're going to connect your machine to. This is your additional port, essentially giving you that port you've lost in the, you know, umbilical connection, both powering your uh, work machine that you've connected to this, while also delivering all the functionality and connectivity of this dock. So that's pretty much it. On the bottom of the unit, we've got some rubber feet, uh, which of course are going to keep this from sliding around on your desktop. And that's pretty much it. Now, I don't see any way of opening this. I mean, obviously there are screws back here, but uh, that's something I'm going to reach out and ask about. I'm sure Sabrent does not intend for anyone to open this up. And of course, if you were to open it, it will void the warranty. I don't even have to wonder about that. Um, now, whether or not Sabrent will end up launching a product like this that you can install your own drives in, good question. But in its current form, again, four terabytes in this drive, or rather dock, you see how this is already playing tricks on my mind. And you know, once you get it hooked up, if you want to create or throw the drives, I should say, into a RAID array. You can easily do that using software, uh, but you know that pretty much sums things up. Again, this has every port that I would need. You know, if you're someone trying to run uh, more than two monitors, and I'm assuming that uh, this Thunderbolt port will be usable to drive a monitor if need be. But if you were looking for something beyond, you know, that single display port, aka another one or HDMI out, obviously that's not here. But for me, that really isn't going to be a problem. Uh, this gives me more than enough, uh, especially considering I will not have to have an external NVMe drive hooked up. I mean, that's really the beauty. We're taking an external NVMe drive, building it into this, and then that one dock is all that you need to sit, uh, or rather have sitting on your desk next to your monitor or just your laptop, however you're going to use this. But really excited. Again, this is just a first look and an unboxing, and this is going to, I presume, change the way that I work, and also, of course, the way that my work setup looks and feels. It's gonna be a nice cleanup, a real consolidation, and again, feels like such a solid product because Sabrent builds tanks that essentially move incredibly fast. How do you like that one? Any questions or comments, please feel free to post them, hit that like button, and as usual, please feel free to subscribe, and please stay safe. Later.